Oh, hello again, and welcome to the VK6CS Amateur Radio Channel. Now, here is my RF current meter, which again is indicating you know, about halfway, about halfway on the meter. So it's uh, very good for um, noting any improvements or otherwise in antenna current. Uh, you may notice that there's no, there's no physical connection to it. Good heavens! I hear you cry. What on earth is going on, CS? Well, what I've done is I have made this attachment plugs in there and uh, it uh, allows me to monitor the relative antenna current or earth current without making a physical connection to the antenna or the earth system. So there it is. There we go. There's the steel wire. That's the antenna running about 20 watts through it at the moment. And there's the little, uh, there's the little probe, for want of a better word, hanging on the wire. That's producing that reading. I'll just show it to you. There we are. So it's a clothes peg with a couple of bits of ferrite glued on it. A few turns wrapped around one of the bits of ferrite. And um, there's some insulation in there, which is actually the uh, insulation off a bit of coax. I think it's RG213 coax. I just glued in there and just cut it down a bit. On the little board there is a uh, diode, a couple of capacitors, and a resistor. It's pretty much identical to what's inside uh, to what's inside the actual unit here. Now, when it's plugged in, when this when this uh, when this plugs in here, it disconnects the it disconnects this uh, the voltage here from this uh, this pickup point, and um, inserts the the voltage from the pickup point on the peg. And uh, as you can see, I've unclipped it, so it's gone to zero. Clip it back on. That's gone back up to there. Now, this is quite uh, quite a simple, cheap thing to make. It's uh, very useful. Just come round to the other side of the of the automatic tuner unit. I hope you can still see that. Um, and by using this, I can. I can clip on to the earth wires. Now, the earth current should be the same as the antenna current. So if I clip that on there, that's my ground wire. I look at that, and it's not quite, it's just a little bit lower than the antenna current. And I've got another earth connected here. There's this other black wire there. I have that. Can't really see the viewfinder very well. Apologies for that. It's very bright out here. There we go. Yeah, it's clipped on. And there's a very small reading there. You can see that. And that'll be the difference between the other earth and the antenna current. So I've got exactly the same current going into the ground as I've got going up the wire. And I can see which part of the earthing system is carrying, is doing most of the work. So the one, surprisingly enough, I thought this one will be doing, this one will be doing very well because it goes to some earth stakes down by the septic system, into the ground where it's always fairly wet, and as you can see, not doing very well at all. Now I clip it onto the uh, the other cable, this one here. Now this is the cable, this is the cable that goes off to those uh, two sheets of aluminium that I uh, I showed you uh, me burying the other day. And oh, it seems to have gone down. What was that? There we go. Um, yeah, that's gone down a bit. I'm wondering if the transmitter's getting a bit warm, winding the power down a bit. Um, but it shows you that the aluminium plates that I buried the other day are doing most of the heavy, heavy lifting with regard the uh, the earth current. Ah, oh, there we go. So let's clip it on to the right, uh, the right orientation. Um, yeah, so the uh, the sheets of aluminium that I buried the other day are doing all of the heavy lifting with regard to the uh, the earth current. So uh, I hope you found that interesting. And this thing's very useful for uh, being able to optimise your antenna and. Uh, your antenna and earth system because you can sort of add and subtract different things 
in the ground and you can see if the antenna if the current goes up and you can see you know which uh, which parts are uh, carrying the load and which parts you could you could do without you can uh, you can disconnect with very little effect so and now the uh, now the display on the camera has gone completely black so uh, I'll wrap this up as always so I've got no idea what it's looking at at the moment as always thanks for watching hope you found that interesting and catch you next time